Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. This video is dedicated to my friend Raf um, because several years ago um, Raf gave me one of these. Um, and it looks like just a piece of cloth, right? But it's actually called a cafe or a shemag. And it's basically just a square piece of cloth, okay, with lovely patterns all and stuff all over it. Okay, it's made of cotton, it's really, very light and fluffy, okay, but it has a hundred uses. And thanks to my friend James on the um, narrow boat, <laughs> he showed me a few of these um, things you can make with it. Because he used to have them as, you know, curtains and um, uh, tablecloths and things like that. But the first one I'm going to show you is how to make a hat. So what you do, you fold it up into that, that big triangle, so from a square, and then you start rolling, right? And you make sure, you just roll this. Okay, just make sure you get it to the center. Okay, and rolling, rolling, rolling. Right, to get, to get basically enough fabric to cover your whole head. Okay, so we're doing that. Okay, so it's like that. Then you turn it around, flip it around. Whoops. <laughs> um, and you do this. And there we go. We'll do that again. <laughs> Flip it around like that, there we go. And then grab one one end, right, and bring it around and hold that there with your teeth. Or you do the other end. Okay. And that folds neatly into there. The Arabs, I mean, I know they look a bit strange in Western civilization, but you know, the Arabs really did get this hands down you know fantastic piece of uh, piece of clothing anyway so you tuck that in there right and there's my little hat and it covers the entire bit of my head and provides my sort of face with a little bit of shade uh, in the heart of summer you can also soak it with water and it'll keep your head cool all day um, so that's the first thing you can make out of it you can make a shopping bag out of it Okay, which is really easy to do as well. In fact, everything is really easy to do with this piece of cloth, this kefaya. Um, so I can use this as a first flush device to get rid of all the sort of sticks and bits of dirt and things like that when I'm harvesting my rainwater. Uh, I can also scrunch it up and use it as a pillow for buses and trains and things like that. But the best one that I love the most um, is to use it as a towel and you know because I don't have a shower on board and so when I do actually go and have a shower I want something you know I've got some towels in there that are big frothy cotton white things that you know they do a great job of solving all the water but they're a pain to wash and they're an even longer pain to dry but this being cotton and very light um, will dry in five seconds flat so this is my new bath towel now so I can use that I can also use it as a scarf Okay, so you can just basically do this and wrap that around there and wrap that around there and you've got yourself a lovely scarf to protect your, you know, your neck from the elements. Um, and yeah, look it up online. It's like there's a hundred different types of uses for this thing. So I'm so thrilled, Raph. Like I hung onto this for sentimental value, um, you know, because you gave it to me. Um, but now it's going to get some real fantastic use out of it. I'm just thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> 